everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we are going to make some puffy paint and it works like wonders. So I've seen different uh, recipes on the net and I chose to make mine a little differently. I'm not saying it doesn't already exist, but after doing different tries, I found out that there is a way better than the other. But first, let me show you the result. It's really three dimensional. You can do all of these in different colors. When they dry, they're opaque, as you can see, and they're matte. But you can always use a little bit of a, a varnish on top, glossy varnish, like glossy Mod Podge, come over it, only when it's dry, completely dry. I let these dry about overnight, 8-12 hours. I didn't really watch, but that's how long I waited before putting a little coat of varnish and it's going to turn them uh, shiny. If you want, you maybe want to put two coats because it tends to absorb a little bit of the liquid, otherwise it's really nice. And here I've put that puffy paint onto parchment paper or also called baking paper. So once they're completely dry, you can peel them off very easily and I would turn them around to make sure this side also is going to um, cure or dry very well. And then you'll be able to use them on a card. This could be, for example, the center of flowers that you're making, paper flowers. You can do mini embellishments, you can draw, you can paint. I mean, and this is also going to be fun to do with kids right now. If you're locked down in your house, it's going to be three main ingredients that you already probably have home or that you can find easily in your uh, local um, drugstore or just uh, supermarket, not even drugstore, supermarket will do as well. So I've done these in different colors. You might be able to see the shininess. You're gonna be able to see this, I hope so. These are the matte one. Not sure the camera is gonna be able to pick them up, but these are shiny and they are just great. I've also tried to write with this. Uh, it's probably not the best tool to write with, but you could and it's really fun and I'm sure we're going to be able to decorate many things with this. This is some I did about two or three hours ago and they just stay in place beautifully. I might put a uh, darker color underneath so you can see that. But can you see the thickness? So it's really wonderful. That's our few little drawings like children would do. Uh, it's really easy and you can make them thick, you can make lines. We're going to be able to do some of these afterwards. I want to show you that. So as I was saying, the three main ingredients are glue. You can use school glue. I'm just using Elmer's glue because that's what I have on hand. Or any kind of PVA glue will work. You're going to need also shaving cream and this must be I mean, the, the one, the foam cream, not the gel cream, the foam one, the shaving foam, because otherwise it won't work at all. And also, you will use some uh, food coloring or I'm going to use acrylic paint. I think acrylic paint is maybe better because it's going to last longer. I'm afraid that with the food coloring, it might fade away over time. But honestly, if that's the only thing you have, just go for um, food coloring, it will work. You can also use uh, dry pastels, that will work also. So any kind of coloring will work. You don't have to buy something really expensive to do that. I am going to take some measuring spoons. You can take whatever you want. The amount I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use just one tablespoon of PVA glue. All right, and I'm using my fingers for this. But it's not only for kids. We're, I have in mind to do maybe some squishies. I've never done any squishies until now. This will be a great paint to paint over your squishies. And now, before putting your shaving cream, you're going to use some coloring. So again, I'm gonna use acrylic. I'm gonna shake this one up because it's really liquidy. And I'm gonna put a little bit in here. I have noticed that when it dries, it dries a little darker than the actual color, so be careful to about the amount you're making, even though between now, I'm going to start mixing it. It's gonna go lighter when you will put your shaving cream in here, so you need just to play with it to see how it's going to turn out. And it seems to be a little amount in here, but it's gonna be quite a lot later on when you, were, you will be adding the shaving cream. 
so here directly into the glue and if you do this this way I think that the um, the result is going to be even more puffy than putting the acrylic paint after you have put the shaving cream so put your coloring before the shaving cream otherwise it tends to flatten down and now I'm going to take my tablespoon here and normally it says to put one amount so one amount of uh, of glue and the same amount of shaving cream but look at this I didn't put a lot it's already the double of my teaspoon so actually I put even more I put like two to three times looks like almost an ice cream to make it even more fluffy I'm gonna put this in here I'm gonna go with my fingers again when you start stirring to be gentle with the foam um, the foam because it tends to otherwise flatten down so don't mix too too quickly but more like this, like if you were doing a shanty kind of stuff. And you see how fluffy it is and it stays in place like this. See that? That's the perfect way it should be. And now there's different ways you can use it. You can't paint with your fingers. You can also paint with a paintbrush. If you're doing this with kids and they're big enough, be, care be careful, they're not gonna eat it because it looks yummy again. You can paint and it's going to stick to the paper because of the glue and it's going to stay fluffy just the way as you put it down. I've not, I haven't seen going very flat or it's not noticeable. So you can do that as thick or as thin as you want. You could again use your fingers or what I like to do is put this into a little baggie. So that's what I have here. If you want to draw it's going to be probably a little bit more convenient. So I'm going to take some of this and scoop it in. All right then you're going to close it. Try to take a big part of the air out and then press down everything like I'm putting this into my finger to make all this paint go down and then just make a little notch with some scissors not too big in the beginning you choose one corner and you just trim a little piece off don't need to take a lot and then it will be easier for you to draw or even for your kids and that's when you are going to be able to make some little dots let me come a little closer all right if you want to make dots just go straight like this and lift it up if there's a little tail, the little tail is going to flatten down, but otherwise everything is going to stay in place. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Okay, if you do this on parchment paper, you will be able to peel them off. Here, you will not because of the glue is going to adhere to the paper. And then you can also draw, you can make a little house. If you want more dimension, don't press directly onto the paper. Stay kind of a few centimeters, a few millimeters just over the paper so it, you're going to leave a more rounded shape you can make flowers and it's better to use kind of right away than waiting too long like the next day you could probably use it again but it's going to flatten down so notice that it's going to be more liquidy than puffy um, if you want to write in your name, I have tried. It, it's not so great, but you could. Like, say, Amy. Let's try and make the word Amy. If, if you write big enough, it might work better. That will probably stay more in shape, but as you can see here, where they meet, the A starts to kind of disappear or the space that was in here. But it will work. Try not to make something too complicated. The other thing I thought that was very convenient, it was to have these little squishy uh, bottles. And that's what I've already done. I put some color in here. 
I just did previously. And you can always trim off the end here if you want to write or make something bigger. But it's going to work like a charm and it's going to be even more easy to draw. And you'll be able to fill the flower with another color. And you're going to be able to make a little house. Take your time. I'm rushing a little bit, but you know, you can always make something really cute here. And a little window, a door. So it's really fun to do. And I haven't put a lot here. I can put much more like your animal uh, enamel dots. Honestly, the quickest you, you use it, that means you make it, you use it. It's better than wait too long. If it's liquidy from the beginning, it's not going to puff up, but it's very fluffy in the beginning, it's going to stay that way. And you wait overnight, the next day, you can hang it on your wall, no problem, or stick them off, like I did with this one here. And you can see it is when it's dry, it is, it's like a memory foam. I didn't do this one super, super thick, but it comes back, it springs back in, in, in place. It is fun to do and I'm going to use this for card making, flower making and also for squishies and I'm sure there, you know, you could cover a whole box with this and that's what I might do and show you the result in a future video. So I hope this was inspiring for you to make some because you can find all these items so easily, only three ingredients, glue, uh, shaving foam and food coloring or acrylic paint or pastels. I mean, I'm sure you have at least one of these item homes and you'll have a lot of fun as well. And if you have some ideas on what to do with this, please leave me some ideas down below. I'd be happy to learn about and uh, maybe share your ideas and try to make them too. Thank you so much. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and also share on social medias. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.